I'm happy to announce the greatest screensaver of all time is back. This is iMac G4, and here it is running the best screensaver of all time, Flying Toasters. But wait, here's a MacBook Pro M4 Pro, got this awkward, running a version of the Flying Toaster screensaver. And before you can ask, yes, you can download it today, and it's free. This is a project I've been working on for a bit. Up until about two years ago, I was pretty much only a web developer. Then I made an app that could download videos in macOS Sonoma, Sequoia, and Tahoe, and called it Sonoma Video Downloader. Then roughly about three weeks ago, I wrote a GUI wrapper for Xbox emulation utility, making it behave like a proper macOS app. And now, I've made a recreation of the classic Flying Toaster screensaver. I'm going to skip over the development process because I know from my own analytics, most people really don't care. However, I will say one thing. I wish I would have known before starting this that the macOS service for Legacy Screensaver, which I was using for the framework, caches the screensavers, meaning even if you replace them, it'll still keep launching the old version. This confused me for way too long, and if I had known that, I would have had this done so much sooner. Then it was just a matter of bug fixing the rampant CPU usage even when the screensaver wasn't active. And now I'm happy to say it's ready for the public. Now this is where things get cool. I didn't just recreate the original screensaver, I added optional modernish features. The original flying toasters did not have scaling, aka Z depths, but if you're in the mood for a totally retro feel, you can just disable it. I also added experimental particle generated clouds that the toasters can fly behind and in front of. Then there's also stunts, which are just simple alterations to the flight paths, aka akin to Flying Toasters Pro, where the toasters will infrequently do things like aerial loops and swerve. And the good news keeps coming, as it's absolutely tiny. It's only a 200k download. And of course, as previously mentioned, it's free because I can't charge for it since I used assets from the original screensaver. Not that anyone's paying for screensavers anymore anyhow. Then it also should work on Big Sur and above, but it might even work in 10.12 and above. That will take some community testing. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll work that far back. And it's also native for Apple Silicon and x86. Other than that, the link is in the description and it's on my Patreon. But you don't have to join. It's just an easy place to post it because it has comments. And I do post other stuff there for free too. Installing this is pretty easy. Double click to decompress, then double click to install, and disregard the replace messages because I already have this installed on my Mac. And in the screensavers tab, you'll notice that it is located underneath others. From there, you can play with the options which I demoed earlier. Now, I'd love to do more of this type of development, so if you want to support me on Patreon, you can, but you're under no obligation to do so. I'll be posting updates to the screensaver for free, so if you join as a free tier, you would still get to see those updates, because inevitably, there's going to be bug fixes. This is my first go at this, but it is working. Then I'd also love to try my hand at creating a PowerPC version for Tiger and Lion because 10.4 and 10.5 are pretty cool and it'd be amazing to see this running again on OS X on a computer like that. So I'll be posting updates there as well. Also, I'll post updates on my personal blog too. If there happens to be significant interest, I could also provide a GitHub Framework Xcode project for creating a screensaver, as it took me a lot of trial and error for things like memory management and stopping the CPU activity when it's not in use. Before I end this video, there's one last thing I want to discuss, and that is where I turn the camera around on the audience. And I mean that figuratively, obviously, not literally, just in case you don't understand that. What I'm asking is for my audience expertise. As previously mentioned, I am a front-end web developer slash UX developer who turned full-stack developer, who apparently is now a Mac applications developer and sometimes a screensaver developer. What I am not is a Mac OS classic developer. When I went to develop this screensaver, I installed ResEdit with a copy of After Dark on my old computer, and I was poking around trying to extract the resources so I could get the animation frames. However, I came up short because I don't know what I'm doing. But I was able to find this particular version of the Flying Toasters sprites on the internet available for free. 
Now what I'm looking for is someone who knows how to extract these resources, and I realize that it might be easier to do this on Windows. Of course, I'm not a Windows guy, so I'm asking my audience if you're a Windows guy or a classic Mac guy, if you could help me extract the resources from other After Dark screensavers, as there's multiple versions of flying toasters like Pro and Ultimate. And there's also a few other screensavers I'd like to take a crack at recreating, like Boris the Cat, since I always loved that one, and funnily enough, it looks a lot like my cat. So please reach out to me if you know how to do any of these things. You can hit me up via email, which is on my YouTube public email. I have that. There's also uh, Patreon. That's another good way. Or even the comments in this video, because I will read them. Before I go, as always, all links are in the description of the video. I hope you enjoy this screensaver as much as I do, because it takes me back to a simpler time. Also, if you're looking for something else to watch, I have a great video where I do the dumbest thing imaginable, and that is replace the trash icon with the Mac Pro 2013 as the icon. And that video is completely senseless. It should be on the screen somewhere. It's on the screen. Also, I'd like to thank my Patreons for enabling me to do dumb things like this. Cheers. Thanks.